Yeah, there's a reason why we have five NBA scouts here tonight. They're here to see what Alec can do on a night-to-night basis. Not only is Alec doing it in the points category, but he's rebounding and he's helping his team win. And the Horizon League is known for this. Uh, guards like Cameron Morse, his size and of his ability, a la Norris Cole a few years ago, stepping out of nowhere. Cameron Morse can penetrate. He can shoot the threes. So what we're seeing here from Milwaukee is, and as we go back to this uh, Valpo possession, anytime Alec Peters gets the ball in the post, you need to double team. Nice strong double team from Johnson here. Peters splits it with a tough shot. That's the number one thing you cannot allow on a double team is for the ball carrier to split it. Three-point shooting percentage. Clemens back the other way. Buries one for the Ramblers. Right around a screen. I mean, Northern Iowa's going underneath the screen on both threes he's hit. If they're going to do that, you got to shoot it every time. It also rewards a team that's not going to win the conference tournament. And as we know, as the Horizon League has gotten better and better, there's more teams with opportunities to get an at-large bid. Chris, how they turn things around? Pace and penetration. We see the uh, penetration off the high ball screen for the wide open three by Haas. Then he turns the corner on the high ball screen again, gets a wide open layup. We see Johnson here going coast to coast, which is working out good for them. Coach LaVal Jordan, you can see him on the sidelines wanting his team to push the pace every time they get the rebound on the defensive end. And what a difference Bryce Nichols has made the past two or three minutes in the game here. Two hustle plays there, okay? As we see here on the replay here, he's running the floor. You have to reward the big man. He made the play down on the other end, runs the floor, finishes strong, shoulder square to the basket, draws the foul on the defensive player of the year. And Milwaukee with a foul to give. I wouldn't be surprised if we see them set a foul right here. Two fouls, and there they go reaching in to Tavon Walker. They still have one more if they want it. We're going to have a held ball here, and the arrow is pointing in favor of Northern Iowa. This Rambler defense, Jeff, is literally attacking yeah. Northern Iowa. Anytime the ball is within six feet of another Rambler player, they're digging at the ball agitating and as an offensive player on the especially on the post when you see those extra hands digging in there your focus turns away from the rim and making the basket to what the defense is doing to you tonight right Andy and we know that Youngstown State knows what Alec Peters can do but yet they still allowed him to get four wide open shots their defense needs to communicate better and let him let the rest of the defense know where he is at all times. As you can see, wide open three in the corner, nobody guarding him. As he's cutting and moving, you have to pass him off. Here again, inside out, nobody on him. Peters has a knack for finding that open spot. The Drew family, number 500 at Valpo. Yeah, it looks like they're doing something right, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, um, obviously, starting with Homer and going down to Scott and Bryce, there's been a level of success. And not only the success on the court, but how they do it. Um, one hallmark of the Drews is the culture that they pass down from Scott to Bryce. Their teams are always going to do the things the right way. Be good students, be good players. Uh, really something special that they have going on at Falco.